Hey guys, how's it going? This is Dragos. Welcome back to the channel where I do stand-up comedy reviews and if this is your first time here, I'm a comedian and I do review the stand-up specials from a comedian perspective, looking at a couple of things such as last minutes, numbers of characters used in that particular special, as well as voice modulations, claps and other, other, other things that you can kind of see in the review itself. Now, if this is your first time here and you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button and today we're going to look at Hannah Gatsby. Douglas. I previously done another review of Hannah Gatsby special called Nanette. If you want to see that one, there is a link in the, the description section below. If you want to just skip straight to the numbers, you can do it here. But in terms of what I think about this particular special, I've actually literally watched it 30 minutes ago. I've riled up the numbers. I've kind of looked at the comparisons. And I gotta say, man, uh, again, it was, it was gonna be very difficult for Hannah Gatsby to basically one-up Nanette with this particular special. And I kind of went in with managed expectations. However, to kind of to round it up, there is a higher LPM for this particular show, but it is overall disappointing for me as a stand-up comedian. Uh, not necessarily because of the content, the form, I did expect something different, but there are a couple of things as a stand-up comedian that I kind of, kind of see as uh, little hacks to get more laughs, right? Basically, the special feels a bit hacky, that is what I'm saying. This is my particular uh, first impression. With regards to like Nanette, basically they had a lot of cultural significance. It, talked about a lot of very heavy topics and I pretty much enjoyed it, I very much enjoyed it. I come from, I come from the perspective where I enjoyed Nanette, right? But the issue I have with this particular special is the fact that, number one, there's a lot of yelling. There's a lot of yelling that basically a lot of times is used as a crutch for lack of material or uh, lack of strong punchlines. You know, I've used it, a lot of comedians have used it in the past as well. It's basically a bit more of a rookie mistake, right? And at the same time, there's also use of uh, slides and presentation, which again is uh, props. Uh, it's not quite the pure form of stand-up comedy. And if you, do, if, you want to be, if you don't want to be a stand-up comedy purist, that's fine. But I think this particular type of angle on the comedy, on a presenting stand-up comedy show is not necessarily going to bring new people into your ecosystem that they're gonna love you, right? There's nothing new, it's nothing extraordinary. And at the same time, it is, again, a bit hacky, uh, in my opinion. I've seen other people use presentations to some degree, but again, it's not, it, a lot of times it's a crutch for lack of material. It, she does pretty well in this particular special. She does do a good job of using it and kind of tying it all together, but perhaps to kind of give you an idea of what, how that comes in, the use of like yelling and slides, it's probably best for me to mention the following thing. Nanette started off funny and it got progressively less funny as the show progressed because they got into deeper topics, right? Now with regards to Douglas, Douglas talks about the topic of autism and actually starts off very, very slow, very, very slow. I mean, 10, 15 minutes of it is extremely slow because the 10 minutes she uses to just to tell you what she's going to do throughout the show, which again kind of serves a bit of purpose later on, but I don't think the payoff is large enough in order to warrant that type of you know waste of time in my opinion. Uh, for the first, uh, it was very difficult to pa go past like the first 20 minutes. There's not a lot of laughter. Again, it seemed a bit unprepared and uncooked. Uh, the special didn't seem ready. Perhaps it wasn't time for it to release it now. And you can tell from the LPMs. The LPMs do kind of go start off from low to slightly higher. We're, we're actually keeping it still within like a very, let's say low uh, average number for the entire special. It's about 4.5. She starts off by setting up the scene with regards to what she's going to talk about, 10 minutes on what, basically she spoils a lot of the jokes in a meta way at the start. She tells you what she's going to do, so she removes the surprise out of the element when the joke comes. People still find it laughing because they recognize what that what she has said at the start is true. However, I just feel like the, the jokes are not punchy enough. And I understand some people will say that this is a bit of an innovative format, what she is doing is something new. Again, I, this is the thing, I don't think it's necessarily new. I think other people have done this before, especially with regards to, uh, you know, setting up and spoiling the start of the show and the slide aspects, using visual cues in the slides as punchlines. Again, it's a bit of a indicator of me for lack of writing or lack of punchlines. Then perhaps because it was only two years, it takes a long time to kind of write this kind of show, comedy show, right? Her first special with the culmination of years and years of, uh, of comedy. And I've mentioned it already, I think one of the big issues with this is a lot of yelling. Uh, she does try to base, it's, it's a lot of mismatching of yelling and content. There does not seem to be um, the, uh, the honest emotion there. It seems like the yelling and the screaming into the mic is just to kind of generate the laughter and, and basically increase the LPM. Uh, this reminds me of the Joe Rogan special where there's a lot of yelling and screaming for the punchline. So there's no actual good punchline, but there's the yelling to overcompensate for it. So I thought that was a bit of a disappointment to see that from, you know, uh, Hannah Gatsby after Nanette. Uh, again, these, the, in my opinion, the special only picks up 45 minutes in. The entire length of it is 70 minutes, so I guess only 25 minutes at the end are kind of like the funny bits. The rest of it is, just seems not that great. It's maybe more 
or maybe it's not very relatable to me. It seems like pandering, pandering to the audience, the US audience, and it's just kind of like maybe scavenging for material wherever you can. There's Taylor Swift jokes, there's, um, again, material that could be considered hacky, aluminum, aluminum, what the, fuck am I, what the fuck am I watching, you know? And, you know, from my perspective, I'm happy to kind of allow that type of, um, those type of jokes if the uh, special has some form of cultural or more of an emotional significance, which unfortunately I don't think is the case here. Okay, so with regards to the autism theme of it, um, again, I think she doesn't spend enough time on the topic of autism, which leads to me not being particularly emotionally attached to it and then kind of removing that whole element of sick cultural point making um, aspect of the show, right? So, I mean, oh, it's not much to say. Overall, I think, you know, it's, uh, it was hard to kind of top Nanette, but um, yeah, this is, um, I, mean, I think, mostly catering to her existing audience base and it's not gonna bring new people into the world of Hannah Gatsby to enjoy her. So overall, a uh, bit of a letdown, uh, in my opinion, but uh, yeah, let me know what you think in terms of the comments section below. Uh, I am going to go to the numbers now, so let's see what the numbers are. Before that, don't forget to subscribe and give me a like and comment. Bam. Okay, so we're looking at the numbers at the moment, and as you can see, in regards to Hannah Gatsby versus Douglas, you know, there's a lot more laughs in this particular show. However, uh, again, it doesn't necessarily mean it's funnier or better. You know, 3.67 is the LPM for the previous one, for Annette, and then 4.5 for this one. In terms of show duration, they're like four minutes apart. Uh, the topic is a big difference here. She spent a lot less time on topics in the net and a lot more in this one, which like that's about seven minutes per topic. And uh, 10 topics in uh, Douglas as opposed to 18. So I think she did a lot better with going over more topics and kind of spending a shorter time on them. Uh, you can see with the act outs and voice modulations, not a big change. Uh, just voice modulations down quite a lot from the previous one. Uh, in terms of characters, also down. So again, it's not the great, I guess not, not the greatest thing that you can expect from from this particular type of, um, you know, I guess the hype was too much, right? So nothing too impressive, but again, problem is it's not, it's slightly funnier if you look by laughs per minute. However, it's not strong enough to kind of compensate and overtake, uh, not in my, my opinion. Okay, so looking at the post of the show here, as you can see, you know, it starts off slow and gets gets kind of a bit stronger uh, towards the end, minute 50 in this particular graph, but it kind of picks up around 45, and that particular high point is actually the uh, art bit where he she talks about, well, he start, basically, we starts the slides, we starts the slides presentation. Uh, and I've also compared to the right here, you can see basically in the net versus Douglas in terms of how it uh, looks at those LPMs. You know, one, one gets funnier progressively, the other one gets less funnier. However, then it still kind of beats it out by a large margin in terms of its cultural value. Okay, so looking at this particular graph compared to some other uh, comedy specials out there, as you can see, nothing particularly special is just slightly overtakes Patton Oswalt's later special, which wasn't a gem to start with, right? If you look at the comparison to all the other ones, it just comes short throughout everywhere. You know, if you look at the... Uh, the Chappelle's, if you look at the, the uh, Ali Wong's, it just comes short overall. It is indeed very disappointing, which as you can see why it's kind of draining the energy out of me. Uh, but um, yeah, this is this this is pretty much it. All right, guys, so that's pretty much my opinion on this whole Douglas thing. Again, it's slightly disappointing with regards to the net and how that kind of came across, but uh, what can you do? This is what it is what it is, right? If you guys did enjoy this particular review, please do drop me a comment, a subscribe, a like, and uh, also check out some, some of my original comedy here. And the graphs are at the end if you guys want to check those out in terms of the running ones. Thanks a lot, then come back for more.